Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over the skills tier list, in my opinion, for the Barbarian class. I wanted to do this as kind of a follow-up to my Barbarian Ultimate Guide. I plan on covering the perks as well as the weapons that the Barbarian can use through a tier list to kind of rate them better and go into more detail about them. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. So we obviously have right now, and I'm just going to pull this up real quick on my other monitor. Just so I can see some more information. So as you can see, we obviously have Rage as our first ability, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory that uh, you always want to have Rage. Rage is very good because it obviously increases your strength by 15 temporarily and your movement speed multiplicatively by 15%, while physical damage reduction is additively reduced by 20% for six seconds, and the cooldown on it is 28 seconds. This is like your staple ability. You basically always want to run Rage, in my opinion. I don't really see why there'd be a reason to run any other ability as your first ability, or your skill, I should say. You always should run Rage, and therefore it immediately makes it an S-tier ability because it's pretty much the staple of the class. Secondly, we have Reckless Strike. What Reckless Strike does is the next hit ignores 75% of your enemy's defenses. And while that is also true, you have negative 55 armor rating. So this is a weapon buff and this lasts indefinitely until you hit something. So it doesn't matter if you hit a wall, a mob, the floor, whatever. If you hit something, this buff will go off. So keep that in mind. Reckless attack, in my opinion, is probably one of the more meta abilities. It's very good against trio groups or heavily armored uh, moms or players. It is by far one of my favorite abilities. I love hitting very heavily armored players in the head with it because it makes them shit their pants. So in that case, I'm going to say this is also going to be an S tier ability. It's going to be right behind Rage because Rage is our staple. And I would say Reckless Strike comes right after it. Next, we have Savage Roar in the list. So Savage Roar frightens all enemies within a 7.5 meter range radius and decreases their physical power bonus by 25% for 6 seconds. This is very much a PvE ability, but it can also be used against players to lower their physical damage for 6 seconds. This is, this is a PvE ability in my eyes. I, I don't really see why players would be trying to use this in PvP. They could try. I could see the uses, whereas they could get the mobs off them temporarily while they're trying to fight a player. That could I could definitely see that happening, but I don't really see people running this ability all that much. But that isn't to say it's a bad ability. But I think for that reason alone, it's probably just going to be a very average one. So it's going to sit here at B. Next, we have Warcry. Grants plus 25% increased max HP bonus of self and allies within 7.5 meters for 7 seconds. I feel like this is a really good ability. This isn't the one I would always run in my second slot, but it's very good at some points in time, especially when you're in a trio group since it does affect allies. So this is better in a group setting rather than a solo setting, but it can also be good in solo because it gives you a ton of survivability temporarily. Um, if I had to rate it somewhere, I would probably say it is a low A tier skill, but it's probably a high tier B skill. That's kind of where I would put it. So it's going to sit in A tier, however. Next, we have Achilles Strike. Achilles Strike is probably the most notable skill that a Barbarian has because a lot of players absolutely fucking hate it, especially if they don't play Barbarian. So what does Achilles Strike do? <laughs> The next hit gains a separate instance of 10 physical damage and applies a debuff that lasts 2 seconds. During said debuff, the victim's move speed bonus is decreased by 10% and any step that they will take will inflict 5 physical damage. So this is really good for players. This is very much a player killing ability. So when players are trying to flee from you and run away, this is the perfect ability to both slow them down and to do damage to them both instantly and over time for the next two seconds, so long as they're moving. Uh, this has been the death of many players from Barbarians. A lot of times if a Barbarian is punching you to death, he's usually Achilles striking you as well. I would say for this reason alone, this is obviously an S tier ability. Now, this is where opinions may differ. I do think this ability sits just right behind Reckless Strike. Now, the only reason for that is, is because most players feel like Barbarians run Achilles Strike by default, and I love both of the abilities, but I feel like Reckless Strike just has way more uses because it can just ignore armor instantly and allows you to do a big chunk of damage. And in group play, whether it's duo or trio, and sometimes even solo, like it's more 
it's just more useful to just do more instant front loaded damage than to do more damage over time and to slow down your target just in my eyes so for that reason i think they're both s tier skills but i feel like achilles uh, heal just comes right behind reckless strike next we have blood exchange reduces your max hp bonus by 25 percent for six seconds while granting life steal life steal success uh, successful attacks grant the player back five percent of max hp however it is a single use ability but it is rechargeable with campfires it's technically a skill tier one uh, ability or spell however you'd want to go about it um i don't see anyone run this because i feel like this ability has a lot of problems with it firstly it reduces your max hp bonus which is going to make you less likely to survive an attack if you're being hit during this uh this buff time and secondly i feel like it doesn't last long enough to really get some use out of it because if you think about it if it only lasts six seconds you're firstly having to pop the ability which has its an animation all of its own so you're already going to have the buff ticking down while you're activating it and then you're going to have to land hits to then get that life steal back which is only five percent of your max hp at the time so you know let's say that you land two or three hits you're only getting 10 to 15 percent of your max hp back out of that hit of, out of those two or three hits you know this is entirely dependent upon the weapon you're using as well you could be using a really slow weapon and you could only get maybe one or two but at this point it's just like i don't know i, I feel like the buff needs to last longer i feel like the reduction of your max hp as well is not very good in a fight kind of situation especially with like you're low on hp it just makes you more susceptible to dying quickly um this is probably in my opinion going to be a d tier skill i have never heard of a barbarian running or using this or like singing its praises it honestly needs a buff and it needs to be changed because it's pretty useless outside of that and then finally we have life siphon upon activation gain plus four all attributes for eight seconds but take three damage per second uh this is this is right behind blood exchange this ability i don't see why anyone would use this it, it honestly does not really benefit barbarians in the slightest it literally is a buff that does damage to you in exchange for plus four a plus four all attributes buff for eight seconds that's just not worth it in my opinion uh there's no self-healing from it there's no benefit outside of like extra movement speed and damage and, and a bunch of other stuff due to the increase in attributes but there's really no reason to even run this uh, skill in my opinion because it, it hurts you it does not help you at all and there we go we have our barbarian skills tiers list for the dark and darker class barbarian if you guys agree or disagree let me know down in the comments below tell me where you would play some of these skills at and where you think they belong and i appreciate it so much and if you love watching my content i'd appreciate the support by liking commenting and subscribing thank you so much for watching